Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker Tools. Father's Day is right around the corner and this is one of the greatest times of the year to buy tools. So I figured we'd do a Father's Day gift guide that can also serve as a gift guide throughout the year. So let's go ahead and get right into that on Tinker with Tools. As I mentioned, this is going to be dubbed a Father's Day gift guide, but in all reality, this is just going to be a collection of tools that I really do like that would also make good gifts for dads or husbands or significant others in your life. So while I'm picking items that I have used, they're not necessarily items that are going to be on sale right now, but I have tried to provide you with items that you would be able to get in time for Father's Day. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into the list and start with our first category, that of pocket or utility knives. Now, in terms of carrying a knife, I find that it is one of the more useful tools that you can carry on yourself at all times. So we're gonna go through a couple of my favorite utility or pocket knives that I do like to carry and give you some different options at different price points. First and foremost is going to be the Milwaukee Fastback. Specifically, this is going to be the six in one Milwaukee Fastback. And this has the ever so familiar flip to open that we've grown to know and love with the Milwaukee Fastback. It's rugged, it's dependable, it can carry an extra blade in there, it's easily replaceable, and this model specifically also features their bit driver on the other end. So you're actually getting two tools in one and that just makes it even more useful. I really do love this tool, but if you want something just a little bit nicer that doesn't look so much like the tool aesthetic, you can go with a couple of different options for something very similar. This is going to be from O-Knife, this is the O-Knife Audicle, and this one is going to be the same similar idea it is a little bit more difficult to open, although I find that you can kind of get used to it. It's a little bit smaller. And so in terms of how it compares to the Fastback, it's going to be a little bit easier to pocket carry and not have it get in the way. Once open, it is a decently good knife. It seems to have decent build quality. There is not gonna be blade storage on something like this, but in terms of being small, compact, and still give you the knife that you like with an easy replaceable blade, this is a good option. Now, if you wanna move up in terms of class, but still have the utility blade, I found this recent release from Civivi to be something that I really do enjoy carrying. This is going to be the same thing, going to have your utility blade as your knife edge there, and it is going to take just about any different utility blade with the double notches at the top that it can be replaced with. While the blade change on this is not going to be quite as easy as on something like the Fastback, a more utilitarian knife, it is going to be a little bit nicer to carry in my opinion because it's just a little bit nicer and smoother around the edges. It's a more premium version of that Audicle, ver of that O-Knife version. And this one does have three different methods that are open. You can just kind of have the back flipper. You then also have the button open that you can do and then it does have a thumb stud as well. Overall, super great build quality, takes standard blades, and I just think this is a really good option for a knife. Coincidentally, if you're not into the utility blade, Civivi does also make something very similar in their Praxis or even their Elementum, and I have the Mini Praxis here. It's another great knife, decently affordable. We're talking sub $30 most of the time. Um, if you don't like that, then I have also used this one from Kershaw. It is a little bit bigger, but still a decent product, especially at the price point. This one's actually discontinued, but I'll include something similar in there. Those are both gonna be your great options at sub $30. Now, as we start to move away from just your standard pocket knife, but still going to give you a knife to carry, that's where I think something like a Leatherman is going to really come in handy. I have owned Leathermans for quite a few years now. I think my first one was a Leatherman Micra that I carried for a couple of different years. Ultimately, I moved up to this Leatherman Skeletool because of the price, it was nice. This one, the regular Skeletool, is actually decently affordable. You can get the Skeletool CX that is going to have, instead of the combo blade, which this one has, it is going to have just a straight blade, which I know a lot of people prefer. And then recently, I did go ahead and upgrade to the Leatherman Wave Plus, being that it just had a few more tools. The Skeletool really just has pliers, a knife, and a screwdriver, and then a couple of other odds and ends. But the Leatherman Wave is going to give you the blade that you want with a bunch of other one-handed operation tools, including a different serrated blade. And then on the outside, you also then have the file and a saw on the outside. But then as soon as you open it up, you are going to have the familiar pliers with the replaceable wire cutters. These are absolutely awesome. They're roughly the same as what you're getting on a skeletal, 
but I do find that the Skeletal's odd shape is a little bit less pleasing to hold than something like this. And then on the inside of the tool, you do have a bit driver can opener, a great pair of scissors, and then you also do just have kind of a flat blade or a pry bar. Just a lot of great things. Oh, and it's got a precision screwdriver on there as well. So for eyeglass repair, that's going to be something that's really awesome. Really having a full featured Leatherman is something that I don't carry all the time. But for example, I know I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff around the house. I will carry this in my pocket or if I'm going to be going out and I know I want a little bit of utility with me, this is a great option and you can get these and it's something that a dad is going to cherish in my opinion. All right, now we're going to talk about two different yard tools that I have purchased within the last year or so that I have found myself really going to more and more. The first one is going to be the DeWalt 20 volt max pruner. I really think it's quite beneficial. I think the favorite thing that I have for it is once I've cut off the branches, when I take it over to the trash, it's super easy just to effortlessly break down things and get them in the garbage can. And I think that's where I find the most utility with this tool. It is really something something that every person I've let use it has enjoyed it thoroughly. I find that it works great. It is certainly a tool that I do not regret buying, even though it was a little bit of an impulse purchase. And I think anybody who does a lot of yard work would enjoy this tool as well. And then kind of along those same lines with the yard tools, last year I actually upgraded my string trimmer going from a Ryobi 40 volt max to an Ego. And the main reason why is just because I had used other people's Ego string trimmers and it was just a lot nicer than what I currently had with Ryobi. One of the best things about this tool is that it does feature kind of the self-loading technology or power load to be able to go ahead and load the string trimmer line without having to sit there and try and figure out how to wind it. It always seems to run out the most inopportune time. Getting it reloaded with this tool is a breeze. It has plenty of power, good battery life, and I find that it is really just a superior product to anything I've used in the past. Now next up I'm going to be talking about some different options for screwdrivers and really I think screwdrivers are such a basic tool that sometimes we just go with whatever is the cheapest but when you certainly buy a nice set of screwdrivers that is something and for me two of my favorites are going to be these from Vera. These are their craft form uh, handle and it is a little bit odd to get used to in the beginning but I actually find that I really do like it. The screwdrivers are incredibly well made. You can get a set for sub $30 on Amazon. If you don't like those kind of a more traditional one is going to be this from Vessel. This is their Megadora screwdriver. They are a little bit more, but once again, really well made, excellent quality. And so those are a couple of options of just kind of standard screwdrivers that you can go ahead and check out. And then if you're looking for something like a ratcheting screwdriver, that is another one that I'm a big proponent of. I know not everyone's a fan, but if you're in the market for a ratcheting screwdriver, a really good budget, but super high quality option is going to be this ratcheting one from Mega Pro. This is going to be one of the better functioning screwdrivers in my opinion. Has a really good bit selection. The bits are stored in the handle, so you always have exactly what you need. I actually picked up just kind of their standard ratcheting one. Go ahead and buy the automotive one that I have linked down below that is going to have non-proprietary bits that are a little bit easier to replace should you ever need to do so but just a really nice high quality option if you want a slightly different option when i did my ratcheting screwdriver video one of the ones that i had tried out was the snap-on which in terms of ratcheting screwdrivers is one of the two or three most expensive that you can buy it is nice quality but at the price point for me it just has a couple of things that i wish were a little bit better on it but luckily there is a cheaper option which is going to be williams also a snap-on owned company that offers even a near virtually identical screwdriver slightly different handle, same bit storage, which at this price point is a little bit less egregious to have it just be seemingly almost like an afterthought in my opinion. Same great function. You do lose the knurling on the shaft, but I don't find that it is that big of a deal breaker. So for less than half the price, this is a great option that you can go with as well. Next up is going to be these accessories for your batteries. These are going to be mountable brackets that will allow you to store them in a very organized manner and kind of keep them up and safe. I'm going to include links to a couple of different ones from Stealth mounts which are really nice high quality. I personally have stealth mount versions from Milwaukee, Makita, and DeWald I believe. They are just really nice for storing your batteries and kind of getting them up and protected. All right next up is going to be these little utility shears from Crescent Wisp but they are just an awesome little utility shear. They do have a locking mechanism and then spring loaded. They will cut through a variety of stuff. I found they're incredibly sharp and tough and I think they are a perfect additions to anyone's little junk drawer 
or tool bag because they do give you a lot of different cutting capacity. They're decently affordable and really nice and compact. And so this is a great little add-on or even just a gift that you can get someone. Now, would it really be a Tinker with Tools video if I didn't go ahead and mention my favorite drill? This is going to be the DeWalt DCD 800. And if you are wanting to get a really nice, high quality, powerful drill that's still going to be nice and compact, this is the one that I will recommend to just about anyone. I have made several different videos for it. I'll link kind of some of my more recent ones. Now, if someone is not on the DeWalt platform, I can see that that might deter you. I've got a lot of other great videos if you want to find one specifically for the platform they're on. But this one tool only can be had for typically less than $120, sometimes as low as $110. You can get it in a kit with batteries ranging from about $160 all the way up to $220 for these nicer power stack batteries, in my opinion. And just overall, high quality drill, great power amount can typically replace most people's other bigger drills for a lot of the tasks that you're doing. And for that reason, this DeWalt is always going to get a recommendation for me. And especially where the price is not bad either, that is an easy recommendation for a time like this. All right, now last but definitely not least in terms of price is going to be these bags from Vito Pro Pack. They, in my opinion, are going to be some of the gold standard for tool bags and tool storage that you're going to have out there. They really do just offer a really well-made bag that has a lot of thought put into how people are going to use it. There are a million different options, so you can kind of customize it how you want. I will have included links to this Tech MC, which is a nice compact bag. It does make it so you have to buy some more compact tools to fit in here, so they also offer an MCT version which is going to be a little taller and then i'll also have linked a smaller open top tool bag that is going to be a little bit cheaper as well i have used these bags now for going on two years and every time i use them i absolutely love them i do have other tool bags from other brands that i use but these are just really nice high quality bags and do offer just a ton of capacity i have full videos on this one and every other veto bag that i've used so go ahead and check those out if you're interested all right, so there you have it. Just a few different gifts that you can go ahead and pick up for your father or significant other for Father's Day. And like I said, this will serve as a good video gift guide for just about any time of year. And so if you're going to be looking for something throughout the year, this can hopefully serve as a guide for you. Each and every one of these tools that I've recommended are something that I do love, that I have used. And at least for my own opinion, Getting something that is going to provide utility or usefulness in your life is not necessarily going to be always the flashiest gift, but it is the gifts that I do find myself thinking back to over the years as the ones I like the most. Even if you don't want to pick exactly something, if you got someone with particular taste, even just giving them the ability to go out and buy tools for themselves with a gift card, that is something that's really nice. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you have any questions about any of these tools or anything else I've featured on the channel, leave them in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and make sure to turn on notifications so you get notified when I put out new videos. And until next time, I'll catch you on Tinker with Tools.